Dude, the only way, I mean, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm for a golf story, but if you can't beat the shaz anybody with it, yeah, like, no, it's you got to go and fight the golf gods, you know? Golf gods. Like yeah. Golf of war. Oh, yeah, golf, golf of war. war. <laughs> it's like it's, the golf war, yeah, but yeah. the golf of war. <laughs> <laughs> Multiplayer, that is right now back in 2018. What, what, what? How are you uh, feeling? I, I feel, How are you living? I'm feeling very 2018. I know, right? It feels like uh, uh, fresh is what I'd use. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show. <laughs> My name is Guillermo Dorado, and you are watching Multiplayer or listening to Multiplayer, the only video game news show that's not talking about Zer's locations in Destiny 2. Why is that in every goddamn... Uh, feed? I didn't even know what you just said, to be honest. Zer's locations in Destiny 2? Zerg? Zer. X U R. Apparently, I, thought, yeah. uh, I would uh, like to know the Zerg location. Yes. I know. Where's like, that from? Is that Buzz Lightyear? Okay, Toy Story yeah, 2. Fuck well, yeah, that's actually what we're talking about today. No, it's not. <laughs> well, welcome, guys. My name is Guillermo Dorado, your host, and with me today are my co hosts, like always and forever. We have Zach Matskanis. As you look at me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we have Zach Matskanis and Javier Ortiz. Hey! <laughs> He's got some lazy eyes. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us, especially since the new year has turned around. I hope you had a good one. Hope uh, all the holidays tr treated you well. And uh, yeah, you I well. still, I resolve to try to be able to speak better, be more eloquent. Still not working, nah. but we're getting there. Still the new year. Maybe one day. Uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, we've got a lot to talk about. YouTubers, podcast listeners, thank you so much for joining us. We also have a Patreon page you guys check out because it is, you know, the new year. And if you guys want to start off doing something charitable, you can go and donate a couple bucks. <laughs> yep. And you get extra content as well, including two extra videos called our bonus round, which happens every other Friday. But if you don't feel like doing that just yet, no problem. Because we also uh, release those videos to the mass media. <laughs> you're doing, you're doing so media. well. You're killing it. <laughs> to the mass media, whatever. To the masses, you know, our YouTube, uh, YouTube and podcasters are non-Patreon members uh, a week later. So it's only exclusive for Patreon people for a week because we like them more. Anyways, no, I'm just kidding. We like, oh yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's do it. We have things to talk about. Before we do, since we did just come off of a week uh, hiatus and we had our holidays, we were doing our traveling and stuff, I wanted to mm -hmm. ask and open the floor to say, it, baby. I still hate you guys. No. Okay. Uh, what did you guys do? Did you guys play any video games while you are on the break? I mean, everyone had time right. No one was working as much. I did. So I did. You did? I did. What did you play? I, I, I got some stories. Stories? Should I, should I go first? Stories. <laughs> I got an antidote or two. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> what did you do? So I got, I got some good stories. So yeah, first off, uh, you know, I was, I was flying back to Virginia. I was like, I need, I need a good game to you know to be traveling with. I need a good travel game. As one, you know? as one says. Because yeah. I uh, <laughs> first thing I you know, say. Yeah, going to Virginia. I, I might be in the minority here, but I'm not a big fan of uh <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 what, you, you have something you to say? You can't open these doors for jokes like that because it's just too easy. <laughs> Anyways, go. Um but I I've I feel like I'm in the minority when it comes to like not wanting to play big games like Mario Odyssey and Zelda on like a handheld like on a plane, it just doesn't feel right. Oh, it's dude, just it does, man. Zelda it it doesn't make the best on a plane. Like, spe like, and I'm not, actually, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of um, playing with the Joy Cons. Sure, sure, like, sure. I, I'm a pro controller guy, and yeah. I tried that. Like, uh, you know, in the in the commercials uh, for the Switch, you know, he was like playing Skyrim, and he had it on the on the on the little, little fold-out tray yeah. thing. I was like, oh, I get to try that finally. It was my first plane ride since the Switch. I was so excited mm -hmm. for the plane just for the Switch. It's a good conversation and starter. Yeah, had a pretty it is. cute girl playing Zelda. She was like way over my shoulder, and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, <laughs> You're like, what's Zelda? up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what up, girl? <laughs> saving the world. <laughs> saving our world, bitch. And she was like, damn. <laughs> she's like, puddles. <laughs> that was good. That was good. No, anyways. Uh, so, I was like, so it's like I, I wanted a good, um, like smaller indie game to, yeah, to yeah. play, and I've been I've been wanting to play two games. One is uh, Stardew Valley, yes. and one is Golf Story. Both, yes. And I and I had to pick one, and it was a tough choice, but I went with Golf Story. But you wanted one within like an, a definite ending. <laughs> Not, not <laughs> yeah. one that just goes fucking forever. Well, yeah, I just I wanted like a good travel companion game, mm -hmm. and those both felt like a good one. And I've just like I've been in a in a golf story mood and you say golfing mood yeah I was like, no, it's golf. just yeah. <laughs> because i'm not a big golf guy like the actual sport of golf but like games like golf story i, I love those games like Are there they're games like golf story yeah dude, it's <laughs> like a golf tiger RPG? woods pga no tour. no not those <laughs> games <Mario laughs> toadstool tour <laughs> closer but the back in the day on the game boy color there were 
Mario Golf and Tennis Games that are really good. Yeah. And I actually, I meant to look it up before we started because I, I feel like it was made by uh, uh, who are the guys that, that make the Pokemon games? Game uh, Freak? Game Freak. I can remember Game Freak. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's the easiest one, arguably, to remember. I always want to say Gamefly. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, you could try your 15 day trial. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sponsored yet. Shut up. Well, maybe. Um, <laughs> soon. So, 2018, New Year. I. Uh, uh, where was I? So I, I think they were made by Game Freak. If not, they were they're super like Pokemon like, okay. where it's like you go. There's a story. It's there's <laughs> catch golf. animals. <laughs> you, you catch like tennis balls and golf balls. You know. No, um, but it's like it. There's RPG elements. You like you know you'll uh, you'll you know boost your um, you know your yardage that you can drive and <laughs> yeah you know girl you know you just boost that yardage you know what I'm saying though you be getting birdies left and fucking right dude even the eagle <laughs> um, anyway <laughs> so I've been <laughs> I really loved the Mario Golf and tennis games back yeah. in the day Mario for, Golf is really fun yeah it is a good for one. especially like those those old Game 64. Boy Color ones were so good because like the stories were fun mm -hmm. the matches were really fun um, like trying to like compete on like Mario's level because you're playing like just some dude Mario's level. no like you're playing just some dude and you're like you gotta go play Mario oh, and you're like yeah. oh no yeah. that guy's real good at tennis <laughs> <I> and <everything. laughs> golf and, like the guys so anyways so this <laughs> game golf story just it I mean it is exactly what I wanted Take the best like, of that and yeah like reamped it it's so good like the the story is like a lot of fun. Like, I think I've put 22 hours into that game. And I have a couple more, like, side quests to do. But I, I've finished the main story. And I think there's six or seven, like, major, like, main courses that are all, like, totally different. And there's, like, there's interesting th themes to each of it's, them. And it's not a super, like... The way that the trailer made it look like you're having to like basically move via how far you hit your ball. And that's that's what it looked like to me. Like you could only like traverse the map by swinging your, you know, like. Oh no, no. Right. It's it's you it's, know. It's not it's not as golf centered as it was led to believe or led to. No, I mean like golf's the main. Right, thing but, in you're, it, but, but you're not. You're like also doing these little side quests. Yeah, that yeah. You have it's to like do you can like play, uh, golf, right? Like and you can actually you could go play like uh, frisbee golf. And uh, and a couple other little oh. things. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like there's this is so stupid. there's actually there's a there's like a dumb side game. There's like a dumb like you could play this like golf video game within the game called Galf. Okay. <laughs> it's like G A L F. I guess it's Galf. Yeah. <laughs> and you and, play uh, Milf. Oh, that's a different game. And. Um, but it's like, yeah, it's a fun story. Like the your the main character is just like this complete like loser that nobody likes. Like he's oh, just so like it's very relatable when you start. It playing. is. Yeah. It's really <laughs> I related. But like everybody hates this guy for like no reason. He's like a good dude. He's like he's just like I want to be the best golfer ever. Mm. And, and like his like, nerd. He, he he's like his ex wife like hates it. Like literally calls him up on the phone. He's like, hey, you suck. You're never gonna be a pro golfer. <laughs> Goodbye. Just Click. Like, yeah. And really then good like holiday <laughs> feel. And then yeah. you're like, no, I'm gonna be a pro golfer. And then you go to like the golf course and you're like you find a coach and the coach's like yeah i don't care about you you suck <laughs> it's like okay and then like you'll <laughs> thank you and then you're like you'll play what mean my feelings are hurt but i'm still gonna be your friend motivation yeah. and then yeah, you, you start you start like winning tournaments and everybody's like yeah you probably cheated you really suck dude <laughs> and it's just like this guy never catches a break he's like on the pro golf tour and everybody's like yeah you're like cheating or something uh i don't know what's going on but you're real bad you're a real bad guy <laughs> I like and it. i hate Self -deprecation you billy madison the video game yeah it's 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 a lot of fun I, <laughs> there's <laughs> like too good for your home <laughs> it's always it's one of those things so it's like you're doing side quests and this character's like i don't know why i'm doing this <laughs> why am i delivering food to people right now it's just like, i like that when it's kind of like in the the paper mario sense too like when they kind of break the fourth wall and they have fun with it like those rpgs i really like when that happens yeah like when they're just like like, what? What the fuck are we doing? Or when they say like, push the A button, whatever the fuck that means. You know, <laughs> yeah. you're like, I like this. <laughs> I like yeah, this a so, lot. Um, well, well, so you like golf story? Yeah, you, so, you recommend it a lot. Yeah, if if you're if you got a switch, looking for some fun indie games, especially like a good travel companion, that's a really good one because you could just pick it up, play around. Put it down and you know come Spin back to it. Slap it all around. Yeah. <laughs> Touch down. <laughs> pass it down. Around. <laughs> Reach around. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and the last one, I I started to get back into Fortnite, 
and uh, oh, yeah. it's uh, you were Mick playing knows. A lot of it. Mick knows, dude. That game got so much better. It got so they fixed the controls. There's so much less lag. That's I've been play playing it. with a couple buddies. That game is so good now. The game yeah. is so good. Nice. <laughs> people have started to learn how to play that game, and it's like the end. Of, like the last ten people gets intense. Mick knows, even though he's oh, on yeah, Xbox. Oh yeah, they just created like but, the PUBG mode. Yeah, Isn't yeah, that's what I'm. Oh playing. yeah, they just ripped off a better game. No, 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 but no, it's, no, no, I don't think it is. Like, <laughs> no, they announced. <laughs> didn't, like, didn't they start a new? I'm not playing like, either. It's thing a battle royale. Or, yeah, the battle royale yeah, version. That's that's all I play. Like, I yeah, don't, yeah, I don't play yeah. The other I part. think that's like the majority um, of what people play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but so. do the last ten people? It, that game turns into Minecraft with guns. Like people start building these enormous fortresses, and it just gets oh, no insane. Oh, else. <laughs> Anything so that, that can like reinstill that eight-year-old joy, which is like I'm seeing this like perfectly yeah, right dude, now. That's a good game. That game's a lot of fun. I have like, to check it out then. I need to play it's, it. I, uh, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't play shit during this holiday. You're real bad. Stop reading books, dude. Sorry, man. So bad. Bad. I'm trying to, trying to better my articulation <laughs> for so, this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for, for 15 bucks, you can play Golf Store and Fortnite okay. and have a good time. For 10 bucks, uh, you can get a wise man's spear. Stop it's a it. Good book. For Stop a dollar it. a month, you we get don't read books. videos. <laughs> oh! Javier, <laughs> uh, what'd you play? And I'm sorry, but he took up a lot of the time. Sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> so, before the holiday season started, uh, PSN had a flash sale, and I got Rise of the Tomb Raider for yep. like 15 bucks, I think. Uh, and I never played it before. It was the, the obviously the sequel to Tomb Raider, which is a really good game. Um, so, I started playing that, and I really like it. Uh, it's got a, it, they've been imp- like, they've improved kind of like their crafting system with like all their weapons. Sure. and. The version that I got was like it was like the twentieth anniversary edition, so it came with a bunch of different mm. skins. Yeah, you got the old Tomb Raider skin. Yeah, yeah, it's got a bunch of shit already unlocked, which is awesome because you can just run around, you know, in different outfits, different mm-hmm. weapons. Um, but it's so much fun playing that game with just with the bow, because it's it's more challenging that way, and it's it's, it's more really fun too. It's like when you get a headshot with a bow, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, and it counts as like a silent kill, so mm-hmm. you get extra XP exactly. and stuff. It's kind of like Golf Story. It's it's it is, exactly. a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> If I could compare um, two games, it'd be those two. But it's it's a lot of fun. Like it, the thing about that game, though, there's so much to do. Like all the Golfster. yeah, just like Golfster. <laughs> <laughs> but like the the way it works is like each like level is like an open environment, and you can just explore. And there are tons of side missions, and I think there's DLC already installed yeah, yeah, in the yeah. game. Yeah. Um, so there's a bunch of shit to do. You never find lack of like things to do in that game. But uh, at the same time. Some of it feels a little like there's too much, you know. It's, def- it's definitely a collective thought. It's not being subtle about it. In yeah, any yeah. It's form. like literally every turn that you make, there's something to pick up, right. and it's like. But the nice thing is, like, a, that's all side quest stuff, right? Yeah, like you no, could just you, totally none of it's walk necessary. Yeah, yeah, like, but if you're if you're mm-hmm. like me, or I expect or suspect Hob is too, but like you want to collect all yeah. the ship. Yeah, yeah. but if you just want to blow through the story in eight hours or whatever it is. Yeah, you can you can totally just go through the story without picking up anything especially because this version comes with a bunch of stuff already given to you sure um but some of the optional tombs are really fun to do like they're clever puzzles uh but yeah like some of the stuff you collect like you can you can read signs which improve your language skills which can uh like you can learn like develop your russian language which will allow you to read Mm -hmm. certain things and you know, it's cool if you want to dive into the lore, but it's totally unnecessary, and mm-hmm. sometimes it feels like a little too Russian much. Russian is unnecessary. I wish that's how it, it really <laughs> works. You learn a language by picking up, like, a book in another language and being like, what, yep, what's I weird, got about 15 words of that. Yeah. <laughs> what's I'm weird is, through. like, you'll go to, like, this, like, monument thing, and it'll say, like, oh, you need to improve your language skill in Greek or Russian to read it. And you're like, okay. But then you can go to, like, this book, and it's like, you've developed more of your Russian language <laughs> yeah. skill. I'm like... That doesn't really make sense, yeah, but know. whatever. <laughs> Video game logic, minute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's uh, but overall, it's really fun. Like the crafting system's really cool. The the skill tree that they have is really interesting, and the outfits are really awesome. So See, it's just I, I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy the game because I mean yeah, when I played it, I could I couldn't finish it. I like I got like eighty percent of that game done. And I was just like. Oh, I just got I got exhausted with it's, all the uh, I collectibles like and like the story to me wasn't bro. super. Yeah, right. <laughs> Golf story, dude. Golf story. Golf story. Well, I, I really like Lara Croft as a character. Yeah. I think she's really cool and like this kind of. I like soft, the redesign. Yeah, their right. like soft reboot of her was really interesting. Um, in this game, though, like I swear, man, this this actress they put a lot, like she put a lot into it because like every other sentence she's like gasping for breath or getting hurt. She's like ah. 
Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. just always like in near so death. Like Hellblade. Yeah. It's like calm down. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, like oh, oh, she's, she's just, just dying like yeah. every second. They're really <laughs> stabbing her in the in the, in the sound yeah, yeah. Thing. But um, but no, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, so I've I've been playing a lot of that and just Overwatch, uh, especially because the recent announcement stuff got me excited and the league starts soon. So for sure, diving into it, it's so much fun to play. I just oh, yeah. oh man, I wrecked as Moira the other night. I posted uh, on Twitter. I was I was proud of you, and then I went and I looked at your SR. I was like, oh, that's why. Oh, you're 2750. <laughs> yeah, way to steal that from him. <laughs> like, that was a good job, but uh, no, you still suck. I, at I play it. with the pros, bro. I started at 2750. <laughs> I, I'm trying to improve, but it, I listen. I do it all by myself. Like you know, I I don't have like a solid group like you do. Like I go into mm-hmm. it by myself just for my comp placement masters, but. Same. So hey man, off, I, lay off him, man. With, what's your SR? I was my SR. I have like twenty one seventy-five. Good, good, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the, bettering myself but, with books. Oh yeah. <laughs> Overwatch. Yeah. No, I haven't done the season yet. You're bad. But I, oh, I haven't done the season either. That was last season. Oh. The yeah. thing that sucks is that like when they last season I was at least thirty-five hundred. You bad. You really nice. Yeah, it was. Damn. The thing with your placement, it's like it. It also <laughs> takes into account Grand every Masters. previous thing you've done. So it's a, it doesn't start fresh. Like it's all no. it takes into account all your previous shit, and then it rounds that into it as well. well that's dumb. Like I always come out in Except that twenty seven, like, twenty eight range. Guys, we gotta talk about different shit. We have more things to talk Sorry. about. No. <laughs> okay, I'm so I'm this. glad that you guys played some games. I did. It was awesome. fun. Golf story. Golf story. Tomb Raider. Good enough. Here's the deal. Things are happening this year. I want to talk about real quick. So yep. Star Citizen, which is this big ass, fuck ass, <laughs> big ass, galactic ass, like <laughs> MM multiplayer, MMO, like online MMA, MMA, <laughs> MMA, fucking <laughs> Ultimate Smashdown, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even know what that is. Um, it's an MMO and FPS, but their tagline is: it's not only an MMO and an FPS, but it's also unlimited gameplay. Because it's essentially like they're trying to break into like you know what Ready Player One is. That whole like movie and book is about like this mm-hmm. like just infinite universe that you can go and expand. Essentially, what we were all promised with No Man's Sky, oh, but God. like actually what we're promised. <laughs> you know? So the uh, the lead director is Chris Roberts. He is the uh, you know basically the director of Wing Commander and Freelancer, which were really huge uh, PC games as well. And the reason I want to talk about this is like this game has been alpha for a while. It's been in the talk and been in the works, and people have been able to play like you know like the, the beta of it or the alpha of it for a little bit now. Mm-hmm. But the reason I thought that it was something interesting to talk about is because they also are a Kickstarter campaign. And one of my New Year's resolutions on the last episode that we talked about was I wanted to start doing more research and like looking at Kickstarters and seeing what was coming up. Now this game, 2016, raised 36.11 million dollars double of what over 700 other Kickstarter games Damn. made combined which was crazy. which was 17.6 million dollars that was 700 video game projects That's so combined weird. That's so they weird. doubled it this year or last year 2017 they made 34.91 two years in a row they doubled what 700 other projects Jesus. were making so this game is getting a lot of backing it's wow. breaking records two years in a row now and it's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, they've got like these huge names in the game. Like, they have like um, Gillian Anderson from X Files. They have Gary Oldman, you know, from uh, Batman and and Brez Planet Apes uh, Acclaim. So they've got like this huge backing. It's it's supposed to be like like they said, unlimited gameplay. You have your FPS elements where you can go and like do your matchmaking. And they have like dog fights and and space races. Braces. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have Spraces. like yeah. <laughs> nice. And then they have like. Their, their thing called, uh, for, I think it's like 42, Squadron 42 or something, which is like the storyline of the single player campaign. And it's supposed to be huge. And then the other part of the game is just like, you go and you explore over hundreds of different galaxies and ships that you create, customize, and all that other shit. Now, my question that I want to ask you guys is how close do you think we are to like, A, actually getting a game of this caliber and this this you know everything they're promising do you think that they're going to deliver everything that they're promising especially with the backing that they have do you think yeah. that we're close to that inevitability where we're going to have like you plug in and you're just like in this like infinite universe you can just play for like hours on end do you think we're close to that do you think I this mean, is true so are you awake do you believe <laughs> I, guess, I guess to answer the first question um by the way is this a game you've played nathan i haven't played it okay uh, like seven years. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. Yeah, yeah say, it's, it's been, been a while. A uh, yeah, it's something that's like you know, it's a it's a PC game, so I haven't really followed it too too closely. Um, outside of just knowing like the crazy Kickstarter yeah. milestones and stuff, but so I, you know, my my knowledge on it is limited. But 
you know, if it just goes in the direction of literally any other, like, large Kickstarter game, it's just, like, it, it can't deliver on everything that it promises, mm. you know, for several reasons. One, because it's, like, seems like everybody over-promises what they, you know, are trying to do. Yeah. And then the other you thing, know, you it's, like... You sell the product to get money. Yeah, because the other thing are, like, Kickstarter goals, like, it it kills like every project where it's just like that was one of the big issues with something like mighty number no. nine it's like their kickstarter yeah. goals was like we're gonna put it on every platform it, it just shot them in the foot and then it's just like we're gonna give you all of these uh, little merchandise things they haven't they still haven't done that because mm -hmm. like there were so many people well then we had that shoot in the foot because it would make sense if they promised that and then had to like deliver and use some of the funding that they got from but if they're not they never but, sent those out, and they didn't use the funding that went to the game. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, well, the thing that shot them in the foot was like, they tried to put it on they every platform. Shot themselves in the foot. That's what shot them in the foot. Yeah, the, one of the goals was like, I will shoot myself <laughs> in the foot. KG hey, Afune is just like, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need $10 million <laughs> in yeah, Japanese. Or I lose <laughs> one digit a day. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they tried to put it on like every platform, and because of that, they, you know, it's, it, like if it was just like PS4, or no, I guess, no, I guess it's PS4, right? Yeah. It wasn't PS3. Uh, yeah, but it was like PS4 and, you know, uh, Xbox One. If it was just, like just those platforms, they could have made like a dope game. But then they were trying to get like squeeze it onto 3DS and, P you know, yeah. uh, Vita Everything. and like... Just freshly squeeze that shit. Yeah, the just, you know, free range, squish, uh, fresh squish, squeeze. Squash, 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 squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because of that, they like, you know, they had to like pull back and pull back and yeah. totally change the art style and all and it's just like these games, they overpromise way too much. Mm. And it always just like, it ends up kind of falling flat. At least sure. that's my. I mean, they uh, are, they're promising a lot in this game. Like, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty big undertaking, especially if they're doing seven years of this. Like, it's, it's only a matter of time until we get like that Black Mirror esque or like Ready Player One kind of thing. Or we're, we're this, like, so far infinite. from that. I don't know though. You know, like, because we say that, but the way that technology like exponentially grows in just a span of a year. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I would think it's within the decade. I don't think so, man. Like it, not, not, like, not before twenty twenty. I'm saying like within from to, like from today until twenty twenty eight. I feel like we have have like at least a beta. Like we something like that. Maybe, but it's like we we barely have even like scratched the surface of what VR is. You know, yeah, it's just but that shit didn't exist like two months ago or like two <laughs> years ago. <laughs> oh, I mean, it did. It's just like they well, they didn't know, have like cool. a, I mean, VR has existed for a long time. It's yeah, just, no, it's I just, know, but like it's not been like something as like what it is now. Like it, it, just look at the timeline for VR and like augmented reality. Like the first time I remember seeing augmented reality was when I got my 3DS and they had those little cards. And now look what it is now. We have like Pokemon Go and we have like these other, you know, we have what's coming out with, uh, we talked about last last time was what, Magic Leap or something that like augmented reality mixed right. to VR situation. Like it's growing really quickly and almost to a point where it's like, there's not really any restraints on it. People just like keep building on it, building on it, making like developing these new amazing technologies. So like, I really think that this, mm -hmm. Maybe not this game. Maybe not Star Citizen. I don't know if it's going to deliver on that. But like, give it ten years. I think we'll have some some shit where put we're a not going to see burger bet on anymore. that. Burger bet. Burger bet. Burger bet. Twenty eighteen. Yep. It's starting. Uh, yeah. Twenty twenty eight. Dude, I'll bet you. I'll, I'll I want bet that you burger. Three and a half burgers and four chicken nuggets. But this also like it's twenty twenty eight. So like some sci fi like. Like I will bet Astro you. Bur I will bet like you moon three burgers. Quandrots and forty-five <laughs> slough juice. <laughs> slough juice. Yes. Yeah, slough okay. juice. Slough juice is something different. That's, oh, that's the health kale chicken uh, nugget God, it's protein. California version. Right. right. <laughs> what about you? Do you think that this uh, is? A thing? I mean, I don't know. It's it, especially when something is being crowdfunded because uh, it can just fall apart at any time. People would just be like, "No, I'm tired of waiting." Yeah. I, it just. I don't know. I, I think we're a long ways away. It's a. It's a big undertaking. Um, and again, I agree with what Zach says. Like, we've still just we're at the tip of like what just well, the tip. I mean, not even the tip. We're at like the base, I guess I should say, of what like <laughs> VR is, base. AR. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we're a long ways away from Cheesy words. from being like Ready Player One, like what you're saying. I don't yeah, think sure. we're close I mean, to anything well, like that. Yeah, no, I mean like to that to that degree. I mean like that's a that's a huge plus, sci-fi undertaking. But plus, like, like the gaming industry. It's so huge, and there's so much to play and to be a part of, like so many different communities. And we've talked about it before, where people are part of specific things, and that's what they play. 
Yeah. So to to say that everyone will be involved in this one thing and it's just gonna be, I, I don't think. Okay, sure, yeah. sure, sure. I, I mean, because we're still on PC platform, so we're gonna we're still ex- segregating that, a lot of like the gaming community. But not even, but, but yeah, that that is another factor, PC console. But at the same time, I'm talking about like games in general, like people. You know, some people don't play online games. <laughs> some people don't play. Some people, no. I mean, some like, people just play golf store. Right? Some people yeah. just play golf store. <laughs> but like it's some people, game. some people don't commit to like these types of online experiences where it's just like it doesn't really have an ending. You just kind of always play. Sure, but then we also have these like devices, like what Face- uh, Facebook is now doing the uh, Oculus Go. You know, like it's it's becoming the industry and like other large companies are trying to integrate this into. Not like outside the gaming community, like to involve everybody. I mean, like Magic Leap, you know, everyone has sock in that. I think it's called Magic Leap. I'm, 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 I might be talking about something else, but like the, the AR mixed reality. You're talking about Leapfrog, the right? Yeah. yeah. So like Leapfrog Frogger. is trying to integrate <laughs> all the things with their like interactive binder pen. Yeah. <laughs> I had one of those. They were sweet. <laughs> I know all 50 state capitals. <laughs> you can quiz me on that shit. I learned that from the Animaniacs. Oh, nice. Which is getting rebooted in 20. Yes, it is. 20. 2019 exclusive I, to League Frog. I think it's in. I think it's next year. Yeah, I think. It's getting rebooted. I hope it's good. Uh, yeah. So, it's anyways, hard. so it's so yeah, so that's that's a thing. I I don't know. Like I'm, it's pretty impre- impressive just alone on the merit that they're doubling over. Like it's unbelievable. 700 more than 700 projects on Kickstarter that are video game related combined. 17 yeah. million. Yeah, and they're killing that. They're doubling that two years in a row. I think yeah, that's already like a big. It's it's super impressive. It's but like I said, I, I don't. I don't think it's not that it won't pay off. I just I don't see it taking off to the to the expectations of what you're saying and what sure, they're sure. saying. So yeah, but we'll, see. Like, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It's insights. It's I hard. think the big thing though is uh, uh, just games as a service. I think over the next ten years will grow exponentially. Mm-hmm. So it's like you know things like uh, uh, what's that EA game that's coming out? Uh, NBA 2K. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh, really? Um, oh, God. Anthem. <laughs> anthem. Uh, like, games oh, like awesome. Anthem. <laughs> I was like, that's you know, cool. like That shit's going to fail. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it is. Yeah. But, you know, get, pretty much, like, games as a service is, like, that's the future of pretty much any anything that's not, like, Bethesda single-player game or, like, a Nintendo, Nintendo single-player yeah. game. It's just games as a service. Like, you're going to have, like, Destiny well, 3 and... Well, that's why you got and, PS4 uh, Nintendo. Yeah, yep. leading the charge with Gosh, narrative single God, player. Okay, so like I I don't I don't have this on the on the roster or the agenda today, but um I was I was working a job. This is actually last year. I forgot to tell you guys, but I'm gonna look up the guy's name because I don't remember what his name was. But okay. I was working a job and I uh, was working with someone who works with the director of Kong Skull Island a lot. Okay. Uh, he also did uh, hold on Skull Island guys. This is welcome to multiplayer. Yeah, this I is uh, I'm I'm liking this. It's a good radio right here. J- uh, Jordan v- Jordan. Roberts. Jordan Michael Jordan. No, Jordan I think it's Jordan Will Roberts. Okay. He's the director. He did the Destiny 2 trailer, that live action one that was super badass. He did Kong right. Island, he did uh, you know, a slew of other movies, but he, from what I heard, mm-hmm. uh, I worked with one of his like go-to guys and he was saying because we're talking about video games and stuff like that, because that's just a natural conversation that kind of segues in whatever I am. But sure. it's like you're a host of a video game show, right? It's like what? And so, uh, and we we're talking, and and we mentioned Metal Gear. We're talking about Metal Gear franchise, <sighs> and yeah, Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> he he was like, what? He had yeah. He like he said uh, Jordan Will Roberts wrote a script for a Metal Gear Solid movie. Okay. Gave it to Kojima, and was like, absolutely 100 percent yes, make this. So it's like being shopped around right now. It hasn't been confirmed anywhere, I don't think. Uh, but, I mean, like, if Kojima saw the script and was like, this is absolutely what I want, and he, like, gave full reign to George Will Roberts yeah. to make this food, this movie. Because apparently he's, like, a super yeah, huge but, in terms of video games as well. You know, now that Kojima's out of the picture and it's just Konami, it'll get screwed up. I don't think I don't think Konami's going to be in, in the hands of this. They yeah, own I mean, it. They, they own, own it. Metal Gear yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't. I don't know if we can talk. I don't. Like, we talk too much about this, but like, Maybe I've been meaning they'll... to bring it up on the show for a long, a long time, and uh, we'll call it Metal Gear Liquid. That's Metal how they go. Liquid. <laughs> Greg. Maybe it'll star Greg. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um, okay, so moving back to the. I don't know. I think it's pretty exciting. I would love to see a Metal Gear movie. Uh, of course, uh, video game adaptations of films or film adaptations of video games are never really. They're butt. They are a lot bad. of the times they are, and I mean, like we have Tomb Raider coming around the corner, which looks trash. But uh, oh, if, yeah, if I don't know if, if people that are like the creative forces behind these video games are looking at these scripts and going, "Yes, 
or like well, you know, problem with Nintendo is they with, don't, they're not making it though. Well, Nintendo will be. I mean, they're going to be the well, creative force behind that one. Nintendo, but I'm talking about like Ko- just because Kojima is just like, yes, make it. That's it. But like once it goes to the studio's hands, the studios are going to be like, well, how can we make this sell? And then they yeah. ruin it. And, yeah. You know, it's just a, a blood sucking <laughs> robot that's also a espionage agent from Russia. No, thank you. Make Take. it a woman with no shirt. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's exactly how they sound, too. Usually, yeah. That's like they all talk like that. Yeah. I have one plane, please. Anyway, so, uh, okay, so moving on, I just want to kind of like throw that in there into the mix. A uh, little tidbit that you only get here on multiplayer. <laughs> We've got inside knowledge. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> all right. It's a good uh, show. God of War. God of War is coming game. out uh, this year. We're all very excited about it. It's like one of the things that we were really anticipating. For I appreciate that franchise. Episode. You do appreciate it. A we lot. talked about how he's wearing his ashy family on his body. <laughs> his ashy family. <laughs> Yo, dude, get some lotion. Yeah, dude. It's like grease like ashy a vinegar. Ashy Larry. Shit, you know, like. <laughs> Going well, from ashy to classy. <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> One dead family member at a time. Uh, so, God of War is coming out. You know, we're really excited about that. But uh, recently, an article came out talking with the director, uh, Corey Barlog, which is, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Corey Barlog. And uh, he Little basically gear. said, quote unquote, the Greek games uh, and were the Greek era of God of War. You know, the first three and a uh, little spin offs, Ascension, all that shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> moving on, but he says, yeah, right. Moving on, the next mythological belief system he interacts will become the Norse era of God of War. Obviously. But we may end up going on to Egyptian era and mm-hmm. the Myron. Myron. The <laughs> Myron. We can't say the word. My, it's my people. Hey, get Mayan your people era, right, bro. <laughs> I know. The May, Mayan era and so on and so forth. Yeah. So it looks like that they're not going to, if they do stay in Norse mythology, they might do it for one more game. Probably not. It sounds like they're just going to like just throw that idea away after this game and keep reinventing yeah. the series. I can see them doing like another one. With Depending it. on how well it does. I mean, like, if they, yeah, because they don't want to like run through the yeah. mythology, or in all so, the mythologies quickly. Yeah, and there's not, there's not too many Norse uh, mythology. There's a lot. Well, Dude, that, Norse I mean, mythology is becoming super popular. Well, like, now, but it's like in with the Thor, Hellblade. with with Hellblade, exactly with Fucky, Rufus. <laughs> you know, they're all yeah. I mean, Norse. like, there's a couple, but it's not too too many. So, did you hear what I just said? <laughs> two things. <laughs> two things. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. Well, but all right. So here's the thing. When God of War first came out, that was always the plan. Like when you beat the game and you unlock like the the uh, those videos where you know they were kind of behind the scenes and stuff. The directors of the games originally that was their plan. Mm-hmm. That God of War every game was different mythologies and it would go and he'd just bounce around from Egypt to Mayan to fucking no, but he, <laughs> he would he would go to all these different mythologies and just take down everybody. Like, but see, I'm glad they didn't do that because that is literally Assassin's Creed. <laughs> no, it's not. Kind of. Well, they they no, go to, not. I mean, like, maybe not mythology. Yeah. But they yeah. go to different timelines that yeah. have to do with religion. But you're not dealing with mythology, so it's not fun. Eh. Well, I mean, yes, it's not fun. I agree with it's you. It's also there. just not good games. But yeah. I'm saying, like, but I don't know. Like, when they say that they want to go to the Egyptian era of mythology, I love Egyptian mythology. I think Japanese mythology would be super fucking dope, too, if they yeah. went yeah. that way. See, that would be pretty cool. Right. And then was... you'd have your fucking magic. So, like, there you go. Oh. That's why it's fun, and that's why it's good. <laughs> but, yeah, that was always the plan. And, like, but the studio was like, well, Greek's hot right now, and we, we, we <laughs> so, yeah. And, and people love it, so they started doing it. And Santa Monica Studios was just like, "All right, well, this is what we're doing now." Yeah. And they made five games of Greek mythology, and but this was always the original creator's intent, and I'm glad it's finally happening because it would be awesome. Yeah, I think it's really dope. Because I mean, also too, like it just not a lot of people video game or you know, well, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to generalize a whole community, but you know, but not a lot of people know these mythologies. Like, I, I, I would be hard-pressed to, like, find, you know, if I gathered a room full of people, I, I would say that maybe one, two out of ten people know a lot about Mayan mythology. Yeah, you or never like hear Egyptian about... Egyptian mythology. Like, people... Yeah. I made a joke the other day about the Ra, the sun god, and they're like, what? And I was like, come on. You know, like... Yeah, yeah no, I mean, <laughs> like, especially, joke. like, when you talk about, like, Mayan, Inca, like, South American, mm-hmm. even North American mythologies, like, you don't hear about that as much as you hear about, like, you know, Japanese. Japan or Japan, Japan. <laughs> Japan. like a, like Japanese yeah, or like dragons gotta, yeah, or, yeah. or Egyptian with Ra. Even with, even Celtic mythology is yeah, like really yeah. loaded with some cool and like macabre stuff. I mean, honestly, dope. it's like all yeah. this old kind of mythological gods from all over the world. I mean, they're all super fascinating yeah. in their own way. So it it's is. like it's more games that explore that kind of stuff, the better. It's just I mean, it's, like, yeah, it's like a, it's a pool of creativity that like you could definitely tap into. Yeah. So and like it would be so cool, cool if they did if they went into like. Uh, I think it's Hinduism that has like Shiva and mm-hmm. all that. Yeah, that would be badass. Like, could you imagine Kratos fighting like Shiva? That'd be amazing. Well, no, but that's still a practice religion. They can't do that. 
They can. They could, but it would raise. It would be. Let's just have Kratos fight Jesus. One... Well, yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> you know, it's, that's what happens. Art gets censored all the time, so. Sure, but you know, like if you're playing a game where it's like this dude is ripping off heads of gods and people are still worshiping him today, that that might not be the most. Let's let's <laughs> let's have him show Muhammad and then Jesus, beat him up. No, too. I mean, you have no, a game. We, we no, were talking about. I'm the, retconning that on the show. We were talking that's about the game happening. Battle of the Gods where Jesus was fighting like. Hey, I'm for it. That's fine. I didn't say I'm not for it. I think that's cool <laughs> if you can take a joke and enjoy it, whatever. I'm saying that it wouldn't happen from a big budget studio, I'm fine considering how uh, how practice Hinduism still is today. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So uh, I like just lower happen. your expectations. That ain't happening. But no, I just, just saying, I like the cool. idea of. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys are supernatural fans. I love like supernatural. The show, Never but seen. like. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, I you love that show out. so much. So first good. five seasons are it's like... It's a CW I, show. I don't... I don't first five that. seasons but are amazing. F- first five seasons are incredible. Yeah. And then that show kind of went... And then it dips off. But it's still fun, seasons, so. but yeah, it's... The first 80 hours. But they just great. like... <laughs> per, like, it's not a spoiler. They kill like every god ever. Okay. <laughs> it just happens. Yeah. It's just like two dudes that go around just like killing all the gods. And Sam it's just and like... Dean. And then it's just like, how many more gods can they just kill? It's a lot. And then they just pull up some more gods just out of their butt. And like, oh... There's still Kill these them. gods. They're like they're dead now. Okay, so like, Jesus. Gods, if, they, if they can, if they can create gods out of their anus, then they're also gods technically. If that's a myth. Then, <laughs> uh, like I think Incan civilization. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the god of anal creation. <laughs> but it's just I, I, I just want Kratos to do it. He's just ro- roaming around like. You know, the Egyptian guys are just hanging out. All of a sudden, this guy just kicks open the door. He's like, oh, come on, man. We're well, just hanging out. Well, t- you got to come yell at us. Yeah, yeah. You're all ashy. <laughs> You're hitting us with chains. Oh, this isn't cool. <laughs> yeah, the God of chains, more like. Now, well, the thing, too, that I really appreciate about the new God of War games is they're not sticking with Kratos. I mean, the, the director also said that Kratos being a badass and whatnot was getting pretty stale. It was getting old, the story of Kratos being yeah. badass, hardcore. I think people were starting to say, what's next? And that's true. You and I were saying that last time. You were all for it. But that character can only go so far being I'm not saying going forward. I'm saying what we have so far in like God of War 1 and 2 are fantastic. And I have no problem with him because he's awesome. <laughs> and he's carrying the ashes of his dead family who he killed ashy, because he was manipulated. It. He's also it's amazing. really like unhygienic, obviously. Yeah. Was Everyone a... was back then. No, they were. Yes, they, they made baths. Yeah, um, a bathhouse. Have you son. not seen the Kratos bathhouse scene with them two bitches? I need you to step back. <laughs> yeah, that shit was... Dirty as fuck, but they be clean as shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, the, <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> it's an oxymoron, dude. Come on. <laughs> All right. No. You're so, an oxymoron. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I think that's gonna be really dope. Uh, I'm looking forward to see it. I would love to see the Mayan era. Yeah. That would be really. Either really way, awesome. this new game looks amazing, and the God of War franchise is great. And to see it go in different directions, even if it's a new character, is awesome because every mythology has a God of War. So yeah. the name isn't tied to Kratos. It's not called Kratos of War. It's called God of War. Yeah. So. We can yeah. see it in different I, mythologies. Exactly. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to this new one. It's the first time I've been excited for the series. Shut up. Jesus. All right, so I was going to talk, right? talk, talk about Overwatch, but we do that all the time. Uh, long story short, Overwatch, Overwatch League is, is starting. Overwatch League is starting this year. Jeff Kaplan had his yearly roundup, like letting us know what's going you know, oh, to come. They're doing the Lunar event, with, with, at the Uprising event, the anniversary event, yeah. the Flocky, the Doofit, you know, they're doing all those things. Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> uh, some, some different confetti. <laughs> and my Maserati. And yep. so like the, they're doing all these different things. They're introdu- introducing new maps, new skins, new everything. Overwatch. So, yeah, new game modes, <laughs> yep. things like that. So I don't know if it's really necessary to talk about that. One thing I do want to kind of bring up too before the show is over, and I don't want you to look at this. This. So stop I cheating. I see the Nintendo Switch. Shut the fuck up. So, <laughs> so yeah, one thing, uh, GameSpot released an article recently saying 11 things that will definitely happen during 2018 in gaming, parentheses maybe. So, <laughs> so I wanted to go, I saw this article and I was like, okay, we did our, uh, our guesses and our uh, predictions yep. for 2018. And I want to see A, how closely aligned this uh, this video game news source this, this is with clickbait, us. Uh, sure. Clickbait. <laughs> sure. But also, I also wanted to kind of throw it your way because there's a couple things on this list that I didn't even think about, uh, and okay. then we can kind of talk and discuss whether it, like we really think it's going to happen. And okay. Then we have this. We have about ten minutes. So. All right. There we go. Okay. Clock starts now. <laughs> All right. So number one, uh, I didn't even know that this was a thing. Mother three, the Earthbound what? trilogy. Yes, the Earthbound games. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, it's the last one for the trilogy that was announced, or is it to round off the trilogy? Uh, they said it should be coming out this year. Now, it was already flagged for a 2015 December 17th release, way back when when it was like yeah. announced. 
So it's been three years now since that release or that that date. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, it took. You're talking about the port for the Japanese one? No, this is a brand new game. No, I, I, they're not making a new one. No. Yeah. The yeah. Commands, the Switch, no, these that's not issues. happening at all. Yeah, no, that's not. Yeah, this, you don't talk about clickbait. This, <laughs> this would be the. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. This is a port. Yeah. So they're yeah. still taking the goddamn time with the other ones. Yeah. So they're still not. Oh, they're not making any new ones. No, no it's not right. happening. The the creator of those games, he's he's like flat out, no, I'm not making another one. Fine. It's Fantastic. you know, despite the popularity. Shot down. Um, how do we feel about that? I I could see that happening because it's. You know, Nintendo's been a little better over the past couple of years about bringing out games that would make them money. Mm -hmm. For yeah. some reason, they hate money. And people in the <laughs> They're States... They're starting to learn that they can get money. Yeah. <laughs> people in the States love Earthbound. Yeah, they Despite do. what Nintendo thinks, Metroid. they love Earthbound. Yeah. Literally, when Earthbound was... When literally Nintendo at E3 a couple of years back were like, Earthbound is coming to the eShop and it's coming right now. It literally crashed their servers because so many mm -hmm. people tried to buy that game. Yeah, this is just people are just like, oh my god, please, just let me buy Earthbound, please. Mm -hmm. And then they they came out with um, the uh, Earthbound. Uh, Bound to Earth, the second. The Bound, second one. No, it's it was yes. it's the first one for the NES. They called it something else here, and because what we got. Earth Earthbound in the states was it is Mother Two. Yeah, Mother. That's a sequel. Um, and then we got. Uh, the first mother game, like two years ago, uh, is like Earthbound Beginnings or something like sure. that. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be the final one. So I hope it comes out because I think that would be a good win for them. Like okay. first half of the year, like yo, here's uh, here's you know Mother Three, you know Earthbound Two, whatever you want to call it. For the U.S. Yeah. and for Europe. Yeah, it, make, it makes sense if they were to put it on the eShop just because. And not that this would go down at all, but obviously I think it would just improve more Switch sales. Yeah. yeah. And dude, well, the more games, the better. I love Earthbound. That game is still haven't played like, top that game 10, is man. Fun. I need to. That game is Especially, really I still like, haven't played Undertale, because it's supposed to be like a spiritual successor, too. Yeah, that's that's on my I list, too. Yeah. But I want to get that. Earthbound. I get that I like, the creativity Earthbound in Earthbound is just, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's so funny. Like, you can make it hilarious. Yeah, and, it's, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's super funny. Like, the writing is amazing for it. Yeah, very clever. The story is just... You know, very, very interesting. You know, and it has like these really Big cool kids. And yeah, you have like really <laughs> cool mechanics that. in that game. Like, like you have a mechanic in that game where you get homesick, and you'll go into fights, and you literally like you you're like screwing up because you're thinking about home too much. Yeah. You have to call your mom and your dad. It's like real life. And like, <laughs> you feel better. It's like what a what a yeah. mechanic! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just like who does that in a video game? It's yeah, like yeah. I'm homesick. I'm sad. It's just like yeah. it's amazing. Like that. <laughs> you don't get that in Pokemon. That's true. You no, just you leave their the ass. Out of there. See like, you, mom. Peace okay. up. That kid's a jerk. Yeah, right, so continuing on, they have another thing that says Nintendo will announce and release Smash Brothers for Switch. Yeah, that's coming, man. That's right. coming. That's well. I said this Whether it's New Year started. Yeah, that's right. our prediction. They Whether it's a new one or it's going to be a uh, basically a port, you know, similar to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's, that's what, what I said. think. So I think that he that's. Thinks a new one. I that's think pretty, it's a new one. You think it's going to be a new one? Yeah. They also say here too that they're going to release. Uh, <laughs> they say and or a lot, so it's like you're kind of really yeah. <laughs> you're, you're grabbing Very all the things. Yeah. They're saying they, there's going to be a new release of a Zelda game or no. a new DLC. For no, there's no new DLC. They said it's done. What? Yeah. They said it's done? They I, said no more. That's it. There's no more DLC for Zelda. Oh. Yeah. So now they're, so, so they're going to just put all their efforts into a new game. Yep. They're currently could, developing a new one, and they said no, we're the la that was the last DLC for Zelda. I could actually see them coming out with a new Zelda 8-bit game. Because, oh, um, so when no, because they so when they um, <laughs> this is a when, 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 no. when they it's were originally building Breath of the Wild, they were uh, they they created an eight bit version of the game to pitch the concept, and there's a playable like demo of that game yeah. that people have seen. It's like make this. A game, mm. so I could see them taking that well, foundation also, and just building like a new eight yeah. built game. They also had alpha right. footage though of of Breath of the Wild with UFOs shooting lasers at Link as he ran through the fields of Hyrule. Yeah, but, I, but I this is like that too. it's also <laughs> in the vein. Of, it's also in the vein <laughs> of Nintendo to be like, you know yeah, we could, but we won't. We hate money. Yeah, it's <laughs> like I can see Nintendo be like, 
You're right, but we're not going yeah, to. Right. Like this. So, so this is it's kind of a new Nintendo in a lot of ways. So I'm hoping they'll they're listening Nintendo. to people. Yeah, but this, it's uh, I don't know. I, I it's weird. It, it's what's weird is that now that the Switch has taken over, uh, and there's no 3DS really that they're like they're not going to continue making stuff for 3DS. It's like you're only expecting these main titles from one system. So you know, like in the, in the old days, you could have your you could have Wind Waker on your GameCube, and you could have uh, the Minish Cap on your Game Boy. Yeah. You know, there's always two options, but now there's not. So it, it's it's interesting, if they did make something like that, it'd be something on the eShop, so it's like the Game Boy version of the main title. Yeah. But it's like, why would not you... Not necessarily. I mean, like, they still... It's, it's not necessarily like there's uh, an abundance of consoles that they did that. There was just... They had teams mm-hmm. that were separate to do different no, things. No, I know. So I think that they're still going to make those things. That's what I'm saying. They so might like... make more bias-sized, but not, but not like rips of the, the main game. No, no. And, like, make a yeah, game no. I'm not. I'm not saying they're gonna make a Game Boy version of that. I'm just using that as like a figure of speech. Okay, sure. That they're making a Zelda game for the Game Boy. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna do that now with the Switch, or if they're gonna divide resources and be like, let's make two games. One is clearly better than the other. Because like, well, why? I don't think it's like that. I think it's more like, you know, kind of diverse. It's more like. <laughs> you know, it's more like you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I think it's more like diversifying your portfolio where it's just like because there are people that love 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 2d zelda games might yeah. not be big on 3d and same thing with metroid metroid's a, a metroid big yes but zelda i don't know uh but it's it's one of those things like take a small team you know 20 people build it like an 8-bit <laughs> like build it build that 8-bit zelda game that's already a foundation yeah. for it's like you don't have to put too many resources into that that's like Six, you know, six months to a year with a small team. I get it. That makes sense. But I just don't know if they'll do that. Like, yeah, it, it, seems, like it seems weird because you're taking your big AAA title, a big one, and I don't know. It just, it's just, it, to I hope, me. I hope they do because it's going gonna, it's gonna to give more variety for the game. Yeah, it's, it's it, yeah, it would. Console. It's just now that the Switch is the only thing. That's the thing that's yeah. it, but it it's like things boggles like, the mind. Like, <laughs> for me, it's like things like, once again, like Golf Story. I love, those are. I wouldn't play Breath of the right. Wild. Wait, but do it's you like Golf Story? I, I, I do. But, it's, oh. but that's independent. That's the thing. Yeah. So like, why Indie. would why would Nintendo be like, all right, let's make a small team and make them do a Zelda? You know, that's the thing. That's what's You know, year weird. turnaround on like an 8-bit game where they could charge 30 bucks because it's yeah. Nintendo and just make a fortune. I, I agree. Well, stop perversing it, man. I, just, I, don't want, I, don't want the, I don't want to think that that's what they do. I don't want them to be like, yeah, tiny game, cheap. Sell it to the masses. I hope that there's. But they do that a lot. Yeah, it's like you know they do like pit cross and stuff like that. I don't want to know that there's all the. I don't like thinking it's about just, the business part of the video game. It, it's so weird. Like you could you could clearly make like a Game Boy style game on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah. But right. I don't know. It's 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 gonna be interesting. Check it's it out, check really out, check interesting. Out. So we gotta go through check a couple more out. before we we go through. So obviously there's some like kind of obvious ones that from software's project that was teased at the Game Awards is gonna be released this year. Probably not. I mean, I think that we would probably get like another announcement for it, but I don't think about when did Dark Souls Three come out? Two years ago? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's probably time for a new game. Maybe. Um, the another one that I kind of was looking forward to. Uh, they say that Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven will be re- uh, re revealed at E three twenty eighteen. Mm. I fucking hope so, because that game might be what we were talking about just a second ago with Star Citizen. Because like the way that they're developing that game, yeah. and how big it is, and how yeah, there's like, right. like five I... NPCs, but they're like wanting all the play- like yeah. all the people that are playing the game are the characters in the game. Like they're the ones that yeah. are making the missions and whatnot. It's all about I... interacting with your community. I think that's a 2020 game. I really do. I mean, you know what? Like it makes sense because like the, the, the workload to... that they're putting yeah. on themselves. But like, I so mean, they're just they're a, they're a powerhouse of a studio. Yeah. I mean, with what they did with Witcher Three and whatnot. But that's why it's like, dude, take your time. Take six years. Yeah, you're just yeah. rolling in Witcher Three money now. Within it's like 10 you're years, good. Check that shit out. They you're might. Rolling in I mean, Witcher it might money. be. Like I mean, it's an true. Console that's, thing. that's fuck you money. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like rock star money right there. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, we're gonna take like eight years and make GTA Six because. We can, yeah. <laughs> and we will. Done, and you'll it, buy it. And we'll it might, it there. might be a next console thing. Sure. Yeah, I think it's like the next console. Sorry to interrupt no, you. We have to get through the show. Let's do um, it. The last thing that kind of went, that, the, a lot of these other ones are kind of small. I don't really want to talk about. Them, but the last one is that they think that the Nintendo uh, 64 Classic will be released. Mm. I don't see why Classic. not. It's a safe prediction. You know, it's. It uh, I, I could see it coming. You think? It, but like within this year, do you think? Uh, maybe. Was okay. it? Was there a but year between I actually, the two of these guys? They came out the same year, didn't they? No, the no. year after one another. Oh, they were years so, after. Really? Yeah, NES came out 20, 2015, right? No, 20, 2016. No. 
Oh, NES is 2016. Oh, NES. Really? SNES is 2017. <laughs> Why did I think it was I'm 2016? I'm enjoying myself over here, guys. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually think they might take a year off on, on those classics. I think you might take a year because off. Because I think they need to give some breathing room for <laughs> both of these. Because these are still selling. Really, I, I'm pointing on the table. Sorry, podcast listener. Uh, but like the NES and SNES classic, they're still selling well month to month. Are you know, still Nintendo like already. Them? Yeah. Yeah. Nintendo said In that. 2018? They, yeah. I thought they said like the holiday season in 2017. No. I don't know about the NES they're, they're Classic, doing but they're like, doing the SNES they are. No, the, the Nintendo, Reggie's already said they're doing like a new wave of NES Classics. Then oh, they're going to go nice. back to SNES Classics. So I think this year they're going to just l give those room to breathe. I want the and Japanese just Super Nintendo Classic. I know. It's so nice. It's Japan. So nice. Japan. <laughs> but it's, it's nice um, and it has, it has different games and it looks so good. Yeah. yeah. I want that one. We'll see what happens. I was that everything? Oh, another yeah, game I played through the holiday. I started playing. Too late. Yoshi's oh, right, Island. I started playing Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo Classic, and it's so much fun. Nice. I still haven't opened my SNES Classic. Oh, I hate you. Yoshi's <laughs> Island is so good. I got I one to. more. Uh, okay, I got go one more it. thing. Okay, what? One more. It wasn't on your agenda. What I can't it? believe it. Switch is now the fastest selling console yep. in the U.S. In the U.S. Oh, that's like a everyone knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone knew that. I mean, it makes sense. Like, I'm not surprised about that. Does you it? Know, it was going over. It's still competing with the PS4, but like, I mean, it's but it's it's decimating. outpacing the PS4. Dude, like, it's crazy. Decimating. Everyone at my job who don't play games have has a Switch. Who don't? And also, like, don't play. I was seeing they people don't. on <laughs> airplanes with Switches that like people I didn't like. I walked that by first. Fucking swept. I, I just yeah. say that. <laughs> no, that's true. Uh, but like, I walked by first class, and there was like this like business lady, like mid thirties, playing Breath of the Wild on the plane. I was like, "What is going on here? This this looks like a lady that's never touched a video sure, game sure. before." Yeah. And then you sit next to her, and you're like, "What you playing, girl?" <laughs> what like, up, girl? <laughs> you assume so, the shit out of her. She's it's like, like I'm, fuck off. I've been playing know. video games my whole life. Yeah, exactly. That's very true. <laughs> you're the asshole. So yeah. I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I should, you know, maybe I don't know. No, you uh, are. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. That's, that's what's happening. But that's it's good. it's cool seeing a bunch of those out in the wild. Yeah, see, with Breath, Breath of the Wild, of the wild. Yeah. Uh, breathing new life into I'm video games for so a new community, stupid. you know, out in the wild. <laughs> I'm excited to see what 2018 brings for like the Switch and I the other too. consoles. I think it's a pretty bright future, and you know, especially with here being at the very beginning of the year, yeah. and we already have all this great video news games. to talk about. I'm thinking it's gonna. You know, be it's dope. it's like now the, these kids' generation, Mario Odyssey is their Super Mario Brothers, and it's pretty cool. Like yeah, you're true. right, like Nintendo's capturing a new generation of Mario fans and. Yeah. Maybe that's what the 8-bit zone is for. And they're, and they're capitalizing, too. To come on. <laughs> it's I mean, especially baby. with the Mario film, I'm, like, I'm I think they're going to come back in the 4-light, too. 4-light? Four 4-light? Four I was going to say, in the, in the front Fortnite? Right? Fortnite. No, I mean, like especially with the Mario movie that they're making, too. Like They're going to really... Oh, yeah. They're going to bring yeah. Mario parks, back into, like, the... movies. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. That is the show. I hope you had a great time. I did. I did not. Did you? Okay, that makes sense. You know, no it's one. A great you don't way have to, to start the new year. You don't have to have a good time. No one's forcing you. But I will kick your ass out of the show. Okay. Ah, just kidding. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching with us. You're right. Just. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. If you watch this on YouTube, uh, we appreciate your eyes on this guy. But you can also enjoy us on our podcast services, which is on Google Play and iTunes. Ooh. Coming soon to YouTube. Uh, and YouTube, the, our well, YouTube channel is Patreon. App. Yeah, it's also on. Like you can listen to, uh, you can watch, you can watch the video and listen to the uh, audio version on the pod or on the Patreon app. Oh my God, guys! So you're telling me that <laughs> they can get all of this in on, one place? Yeah, yeah, Patreon. Patreon, son. Interesting. You download that Patreon app. You can listen to the MP3 version or the video version it's all or on the there. what? No. <laughs> okay, it's cool. All on. Well, there you go. So you can go to our Patreon. You know, our YouTube uh, subscriber base. Our podcast listeners, go to Patreon. You don't have to like worry about all that shit. If you want to switch between the video and the podcast, you can do so at the click of a button on the same page. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a donation button there too. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Oops. Just having you do this every week helps us out because we're not making this shit for us. We're making it for you. Oh, a little uh, bit for us. I, bit for I us. like this. I, I, fun. I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. I only do it for them. <laughs> I just need affirmation. Uh, so, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will be back next week like we do every week on Thursdays. We also are going to be having our bonus round coming soon. We have this twice a month. Patreon members get that first, though. Sorry, everyone else. <laughs> Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> Hercules. 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 Uh, my name is Guillermo Dorado. You can find me on social media, on my Instagram page, which is Guillermo underscore Dorado, and on my Twitter, which is at Mas Dorado. You can also find these gentlemen at... At Zach Matzkanis, Z-A-C-K-M-A-T-Z-G-A-N-I-S, on Twitter, son. Twitter. 
Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> and I'm at multiplayer hub on Twitter. And? And read it. <laughs> <laughs> on Reddit like as this. well. Um, <laughs> yo, on Twitter, I posted my stats the other day from where I fuck you. They were good. <laughs> Shit. 13,000 heels with 54 E limbs. <laughs> Get it. Boom, 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 boom. And we also have our native, our natives. Our natives. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have, we have our resident PC gamer, which is Nathan. Nathan Redfern. Red. No, Nathan. What up, Nathan? Jesus. Nathan. Jesus, I can't say the word. Nathan Redfern, but I call oh. him Nathan now. So, <laughs> he's our resident PC gamer. You can find him on, on PC. Insta on where? Instagram? Twitter at Multiplayer. What's your Steam account? They can all. Your, yeah, what's your, uh, your username, your password? You, you can follow uh, Natha on his uh, social security number. <laughs> 443. You can three two Nath if you want. Um, we also have our resident Xbox gamer, Mick Wood. You can find him at Mick to the Wood on both Instagram and Twitter. You also met him the other day, and you will see both the these gentlemen day. more this year, I assure you and promise you. They're not going to make me liars like they did last year, I can assure it. Anyways, mm. uh, you can also follow all the things that we've talked about on this show on our multiplayer page on YouTube, I'm sorry, on uh, Twitter and on Instagram at Go Multiplayered. And uh, we, like, uh, like, subscribe, send us like questions, emails, comment concerns. on my talk to us. nudes, like talk. review us, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Ask for nudes. <laughs> What? Yeah, send, Whatever. send nudes. Send nudes. We'll take any nudes. <laughs> we'll take any nudes. We're, we're we'll desperate. send them to you. <laughs> They're perfect. Done deal. That's a that's actually a Patreon uh, that's a, that's one of the donation tiers. goal, yeah. <laughs> For 50 bucks, you get to see our junk. 50? No. That's too much. I'm cheap. Two dollars. So, <laughs> uh, you can also say, all right, I want to give a special thank you to DJ Cutman for his amazing chip to music, that intro, our show, and outros it. Yep. Uh, you can He's find cool him guy. on SoundCloud oh, and on his own in, Patreon. What's it called? Yeah, Patreon, as well as, what the hell is the other thing called? SoundCloud? No. His it's website? Like, yes. His, his URL. Website, his URL. <laughs> his web w address. He just, he just reached a, uh, a new he did. major goal I on got Patreon. That email. So congrats to hey, DJ Cutman. Hey, buddy. I think he's that. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. And you're welcome. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Good job. <laughs> All the things. Uh, yeah, you can find his stuff at www.com. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> DJCutman.com. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 2018. Yeah, good, good start. Time. Good start. Good I like start. it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, boys. See you guys next year. <laughs> Wait, hold the phone. What? Keep on grinding. We'll see you next week at the Respawn. Yeah, we Ooh. love you. Later. Bye-bye. <laughs> We'd like to give a big old special thank you to Jaden Lawrence, Arturo Madeira, and Mercha Dan Kroll Pataryu. If you want to receive shout outs like these awesome, beautiful people, be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash multiplayer. See you next time, players.